Welcome to How to Make Machines. How to Make Machines is an educational resource for electricity, automation, and programming. This is the wiring diagram of a simple air conditioner blower and refrigerant pump system. We are going to convert this to a ladder diagram and explain how that is done. Electrical diagrams or schematics come in different forms, two of which are wiring diagrams and ladder diagrams. Electrical diagrams can use different styles and symbology. Expect to find variations between different authors. Wiring diagrams and ladder diagrams are very similar, but serve different purposes. A wiring diagram is meant to show exactly how the wires and components in an electrical circuit are connected. An electrical ladder diagram is meant to show logical connections to components, not physical connections. A ladder may show a wire connected to a relay, but not which contactor on that relay. An electrical ladder diagram is typically used for engineering and troubleshooting. A wiring diagram is typically used for installation and construction. Because of their similarity, both types of diagrams may be used for each other's purpose. You will find hybrids of wiring and ladder diagrams. People will also use both terms to describe all electrical diagrams. The terminology is not important, just the concept. A ladder shows electrical connections, a wiring diagram shows physical connections. The purpose of this video is not to make distinctions between the two, but to explain how both should work and how to both read and create either style of diagram. Now let us look at how the controls of this AC blower system work. Looking at the wiring diagram, we see five loads. A load is a device that consumes power. Here we have three relays and two motors. The magnetic coils of the relays are loads. They need to be provided power to activate the relays. One of the relays is outside of the AC blower system, the thermostat. Not shown is the mercury switch in the thermostat that activates the coolant pump motor relay, R2. Another device is the 120 volt to 24 volt control transformer. Finally, we have a safety device, an interlock switch. The switch prevents the fan from operating if the blower system has its cover removed. To make a ladder from this wiring diagram, we will start with the two main loads, the fan motor and the pump motor. We represent the power source as two vertical lines, one representing the hot side of 120 volts and the other the neutral. We will call the fan motor M1 and the pump motor M2. We will call the fan relay R1 and the pump relay R2. The contact points for relays are shown as two short vertical lines. The thermostat relay will be R3. Not shown is the thermostat control of the cooling system. In an older style thermostat, this was a mercury switch and is how we will represent it in the ladder drawing. In order to operate our relays, we need to provide the proper voltage to their coils. To do that, we add what is known as a control transformer. The control transformer provides the relay coils with the proper voltage. Our source voltage is 120 volts. These relays operate at 24 volts. This symbol represents a transformer. It has been drawn to show an approximation of the winding ratio of the transformer. Converting 120 volts to 24 volts requires a roughly 5 to 1 winding ratio. Transformers may also be represented without the ratio in the symbol. In this case, the transformer symbol is annotated with labels for the primary and secondary voltages. A typical thermostat uses a mercury switch attached to a bimetallic coil to activate the blower and cooling system when the desired temperature is not met. This switch activates relay R3. To specify that this is a temperature-controlled switch, we add a little more detail to the symbol. The same switch also activates relay R2. Relay R1 is operated by relay R3. The interlock switch SW1 operates as a disconnect for power to the entire system. It cuts incoming power when opened. The diagram now shows all five of our loads and how they are activated. A later video will show how to use this diagram to troubleshoot problems within the air conditioning blower system. Thank you for watching How to Make Machines.